Hi, good morning, friends and family. Welcome to Music Monday. It is Music Monday today. That means I'm gonna be playing some tunes for you guys, right, Bootu? Her butt's exposed, mommies. Don't, don't film her. <laughs> I gotta film the booty butt. <laughs> film that booty butt. I've got uh, some fun stuff for you today. I cleaned, I cleaned up my whole garage here. Well, I mean, it doesn't look clean, but you should have seen it before. But it's clean, like the floor is clean. And uh, I'm going to record some music for you guys today. I got my drum set somewhat ready to go, but oh, get your cocoa box. Before we dive too deep into Music Monday, I would like to give you guys a little update on our boy Junior here, our motley golden child reticulated python who, you know, went over with my buddy Riley and was going to UC Davis for vet treatment, and uh, he's doing great now. Let's shoot some little b-roll of him with some piano playing. Hi, T. What happened to your triple B shirt? It's all, Pink. it's all hemma jang. I didn't have undies on, but she got a skirt. <laughs> no undies, but a skirt and boots. Look, T, it's Junior. <gasps> you like Junior? Yeah. He's nice, huh? Yeah. Oh, come here, Junior. Isn't he nice? Yeah. Yeah, he's so nice. Yeah. He nice snakey. Yeah. yeah you're a mess. <laughs> Hard. Playing hard, huh? I'm gonna be right here. Actually, I think. Okay. All right. Release her. Release uh, the touche. I wanted to give a shout out to a bunch of the podcasts I was on in this past week. It's been a real honor to be on so many podcasts. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, my buddies, uh, my buddies Jeremy and Rob that work over at Nerd have their Reptile Talk podcast. I was on there. It was really cool because we talked about some stuff I've never talked about before on a podcast, which is sometimes <coughs> challenging when you're on. Bless you. When you're on so many podcasts, it's tough to. Uh, Keep it fresh, you know, especially that many in a row. Nice snakey. Nice snakey. And then also with my buddy Riley and Andy over at their uh, Reptile Room podcast. And the links for all these podcasts will be down below. And then I'm doing one tonight, which will be have live by the time you guys watch this. My buddy Chris Eaton over at Snakes and the Fat Man. He's having an episode with a bunch of different people on it, um, including M Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons. Uh, Brittany Gobble, Gobbles Reptiles, uh, Ozzy from Ozzy Boyds, or Ahmad, my buddy. I, I call him Ahmad, I don't know if he likes it or not. Do you like it, Ozzy? <laughs> uh, Mark Mandic. It's a kind of a cool lineup to be part of. Yeah, so uh, I'll put a link for every one of those down below if you guys haven't got to check them out already. And hey, T. I've got a pewda. What do you. I've got a pewda. You got a pewda? Yeah. Okay, but hey, T. What do you know? What do you know? Snakies. What about snakies? That's right, snakey. That's a nice snakey? Yeah. What else do you know about snakies? What else do you know about snakies, T? They're, they're black. They're black? <laughs> do they make you happy? Yeah. Yeah. Are snakies your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, T. Today. <laughs> I'm very nice. What's that? Making very nice. Yeah, is, this is Junior. Yeah. Yeah. Junior the Snakey. He likes me. Yeah, he licked you? Yeah. Does he like you? Yeah. <gasps> she just got bit on that part of the video. 
It's later in the day. I just kind of want to show you guys what it looked like afterwards. And that little tea bite got it right there on the chest. I didn't. Right there. Yeah, right there. I I didn't realize that she had been holding chickens just previously. So that Junior, who never has been anybody, went for a feeding response right there, and um, obviously she turned out okay. But uh, let's go back to real time. Well, that didn't go as well as planned. Leia's okay. I think she was holding the chickens, apparently, so she had chicken smell all over her, so, yeah. And Junior's never d bit defensively at all, but, uh, but that chicken smell can set him off. There's the tough girl. We changed his shirt. You got bit by a snake, that was a fe first feeding response. So this is not her first time being bit by a snake. Definitely her first feeding response bite. Definitely my fault for not realizing she was holding chickens upstairs with that shirt on, but... I'm a snakey. Oh, it's snakey. Doesn't deter. Two years old and tough as nails. I, w I want to take this opportunity that, like I took it before when she took a defensive bite. Um, or no, was that, no, I'm sorry. This is your second feeding response bite. Amazing. Only two years old. Had that been a dog? We would be on our way to the hospital right now. Oh, you okay? I'm sorry. I know, I'm not being sensitive about you, huh? I'm sorry. You're okay. I know you. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Was it, it was scary, huh? Was it scary? Yeah. You okay, though? Are you okay? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he bit you. It's okay. He just, just, look, look, listen, 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 you know why? It's not because he didn't like you. It's not because he didn't like you. It's because, it's because he thought he was hungry. And since you were holding chickens, he thought he was going to get to eat a chicken. So he, he smelled chicken on you. And so he thought that there was chicken to eat. Okay. But yeah, but he didn't, he wasn't trying to be mean to you. He was just trying to eat <laughs> the chickens. He's trying to eat the chicken smell. Because they eat chickens and rats and, and stuff, so. But look, at least you're still too, still too tough and you can still hold a snakey, huh? At least not too scared, huh? You okay? What's that? What do you think? Yeah, a snakey's not gonna do that, okay? Cause we changed your shirt, so now you don't smell like chickens anymore. Yeah. You're tough. Yeah. Are you a tough girl? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my baby. Kevin baby that. What's that? Baby. You want oh you want to hold another one? Yeah. Okay. There we go. This is your snake, Joe. I love you. Love you too. And thanks for getting mm. us this waffle. You're welcome. Is it delicious? Yeah. Is it amazing? Is there another fork? So I'm anticipating people down in the comments, or maybe a comment or two. Well, the perfect folks that never make mistakes out there or have accidents. That's all right. But I just want to say I'm not I'm not proud that she got bit. I am proud of how she reacts to it, how she toughs it up, and it's oh, not the first time. And she still I think Hillary probably got more emotionally traumatized than uh. than Leia did. Honestly, is that accurate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but one of the most common questions I get at the educational shows is, does it bite? And there's no quicker and easier way to learn does it bite than getting bit. It really teaches you about the reality that yes, they, if it has a mouth, that's always my answer. If it has a mouth, it can bite. It might not, but there's always a chance. I honestly didn't see it coming. Uh, if it wasn't for the chicken, I don't think it would have happened. But everybody's good, up, happy. I was like, I could always choose not to show it or not to even put that in the video at all that it happened but I feel like I just want to keep it real and then think things go bad things go bad and it sucks it's but it's not as bad as it could be not even close what do you think mommies what's your what's your take on it? I'm all snake guy here oh just take a bite you're good I think I only want her around baby snakes <laughs> yeah From now on. I mean that's there's that's legitimate that's just stuff. like my biggest taco. fear come true taco. and like I, taco. I couldn't really taco. do anything I to help taco. her. Mom.
want me to jump no, with him? Me talk to yeah, him. it didn't. It didn't feel good for me either to have her sit like I. Just, I was just like, I need to get her off. Calm down, you two. Man, it's getting crazy on here, huh? Me first. Me first. I guess everybody's just hungry today. That's the theme. You enjoyed the song and uh, I'm gonna get myself into my complaining corner I think that's where I need to go complaining corner do we need music for the complaining corner this is actually one of my more favorite segments that we've been doing since we've been doing the segments complaining corner I feel like we should have a theme song for the complaining corner and I'm just gonna complain about uh, people complaining <laughs> Does that make sense is that like inception of complaining complaining about people complaining uh, we did a uh, we're doing a giveaway over on the Freedom Breeder channel and, and to enter the contest you submit a 30 second video explaining what you like about Cocoa Blocks and just tag Freedom Breeder in the post and there was people complaining about that's too much work to go and com to go and do that 30 second video or it doesn't even have to be full 30 seconds to be like literally a 10 second video it was just you know a suggested 30 seconds maybe or so just short was the was the thing and apparently it's too much trouble to do that to enter the contest for some folks, which just blows my mind. I mean, so we're talking about 
potential for about $120 for the product and getting your brand shouted out on the Freedom Breeder channel, which if you're a ball python breeder, which I imagine you at least aspire to be a ball python breeder if you're watching that channel, to get a shout out for your business on the channel as well. I mean, for 30 second video clip, it doesn't seem like that much work to me, but maybe I'm just used to doing lots of videos, so 30 second video clip to me seems like nothing, but it still seemed like, come on, there, it's too much work? It's too hard? Too much work? <laughs> <laughs> All right, solution stool, the solution. Well, here's the problem with coming up with the solution. I got no solution stool buddy today, but here's the problem. If we find a solution to this, then what am I gonna complain about in the complaining corner? I need to keep this segment going, it's my favorite segment. I don't know if I want a solution for it, and then what am I gonna complain about? I just finished recording all the music for, man, I don't know, I don't know how those guys that record themselves playing do so well maybe more practice but it's a lot of work to try and record a whole song and by yourself like i don't know bass and drums and guitar and piano and singing and i'm not that good at singing anyway so it's like it, that was that was a lot of work to record all that stuff the day's almost over what's that t that's mommy got for today mommy got that for you today it's more chicky food yeah anyway i just wanted to i just wanted to leave you guys with uh you know, the, the Leia is clearly fine, and you're a tough cookie, T. Yeah. Most other people, most other babies would probably be over it, be done, not even want to touch a snake ever again in their life. You know that? What's that? What's what? Mel. Mel? What's that smell, Daddy? What? What's that smell? That smell? Yeah. I don't know, it smells like tough girl. Smells like one tough cookie. That's what I smell. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our day today with uh, Music Monday. I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Aloha. Yeah. Eli, you need to put some pants on, please. I just realized I never even asked my son what he knows. What kind of father doesn't ask his son what he knows? Hey, Noah. What? 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 Do you know? I know. Diamonds. What about diamonds? That they're my second favorite mineral in the world. So hard, not even a steel hammer could break one. They don't get very big. The largest one ever is about this tall and this long and don't think I've seen a real diamond in my life. And Mommy has real diamonds on her ring. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, I actually have seen a real diamond in my life. More than three actually. And that's all I know. One more thing before we get out of here, I gotta say, Leia has been trying to convince Hillary over and over again that, that she's okay because Hillary is honestly still a little bit more emotionally traumatized than, than Leia is about it. She's really trying to convince Mommy, Mommy, I'm okay. It's, I'm such a proud dad right now. You, you can't even, <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah.